What is up people, how's it going? This is Bharat and welcome back to yet another video on Kiwi. So this video, we're going to quickly look into how you can create your own file manager module, which is actually part of the Kiwi MD class itself. And you're going to quickly look into how useful that class is and how you can integrate that within your application. So let's get started. This video is sponsored by An Academy. For those of you all preparing or will be preparing for the software development roles at top product companies, An Academy can be the perfect companion and guide. If you get the paid subscription, you can be assured of the best possible interview preparation for software development roles where you are preparing right now and or even if you're going to be sitting for interviews one to two years time from now. The main reason why An Academy can be the best companion for interview preparation is because of the live classes by the best in-class educators from top companies where you want to work for. You have access to all the batches and courses in this category. So you have the flexibility in choosing the courses by your favorite educators. The course and curriculum is designed by experienced people from the industry who have been working in companies like Amazon, LinkedIn, and other such top product companies. In addition to all of this, you also get demand doubt support on their Discord server. So you can get your doubts answered even if you missed asking them in a live class. Option to watch recording of classes if you miss classes is also available as part of the subscription. You can use my promo code CODERMONG to get 10% off a subscription as well as unlock all the free resources. Alright, so as usual, we're going to quickly have all the base layers created and all of that is going to be part of this. So from kiwimd.uapp, uh, import the um, MD app and create, create a base layer. So I'm just going to say uh, file module app and use the md app as my base class have a dummy build method and also have a main so that we're going to be running this for model app dot run off all right so this is going to be a couple of uh, base layers that you usually do what we're going to do as part of this method this class or this video is to have or introduce a very simple class called as the file manager it's called as the md file manager and it's part of the kvmd.uix file manager. We just say quickly md file manager and that we have. So we have the file manager present and we're going to be using this file manager uh, for creating a simple uh, object of it. So just go back to your unit, create an unit and make sure to do a super off dot init as well. All right, so we have the base init layer created. And if you do really need the quags, you can just pass the quags. So just say quags and pass the quags here. All right, so we have the super created. We have the base layer created. Let's quickly create a class variable called as file manager, um, file manager object or something like that. And we're going to be initializing our first class. So it's going to be the MD file manager. There are a few things that you need to know as to how useful this file manager class is. The first thing is that you're going to define what is going to be the selection path. So selection path is nothing but a very simple way of where or from where this entire thing has to start. So you have to give it a simple module or method. So just going to say select path is equal to some method that's going to come here. Followed by that, we need to also define an exit manager, meaning that what is the method that should be called uh, when the user wants to go back or closes, close this file manager. We just say exit manager is also another method that you're going to define in, in some time. Followed by that, the third important uh, attribute is the preview attribute. Preview attribute by default is false and we need to set it to true. Why is the use, what is the use of preview attribute? This will actually give a simple preview of an image file and it's going to be useful when you're actually browsing through an image file. Since the Kiwi itself or the Kiwi MD framework itself gives you an access to the file system, you can access any file system, Android, iOS, uh, Mac, or even Windows. So you can access any file system. And if that is going to be an image present, it's going to give you a simple preview. All right. So we have created the file manager object. It's time to now get started. The first thing you're going to do is we cannot obviously uh, open the file manager by itself. We need to say open this file manager or the open the file manager. Um, object so we, if you know how to do that we just need to make sure that we are calling the file manager dot show without this method we cannot say where or what the method is or where the entire browser uh, the manager should start from so we just have to pass the root directory uh, you can pass any directory here but i'm going to be passing the root directory from which this has to be shown now followed by that we also have to anyway define an exit manager which we're going to be doing right now where we're going to say exit manager uh, is equal to it's a method and I'm just going to say self.file manager object 
dot close this is going to be the exit manager whenever the exit or when the user wants to exit they can actually uh, this method will be called you can even add a print statement you can you let's say you want to load the data from this exit manager you can still do that all right we have the uh, exit manager we have the open file manager but what about when the user selects a path let's say the user is actually going through the each and every one of this and finally he decides to select the path so we need to have a method for that as well right so what we're going to do is in the select path method we'll quickly actually uh, be having the data about the will be having data about what the path is getting fired as as well so we just have to say select path and uh, obviously not the method just the reference to the method so when the user clicks on the path this path method is going to be fired and the path variable is going to be having the data that we need so for example just for now print the data uh, we'll just say path and what we're going to do next is to just close the um the entire file manager so basically we have created an open file manager an exit file manager and a select path but nothing is, is essentially added so what i'm going to do next is to quickly have my build lang from the kiwi dot lang import the builder and i'm going to quickly write some logic here what i'm going to do is just have a box layout as my base um as always usually it's going to be orientation is vertical also do that do not forget to create a box layout vertical orientation for by that i'm going to be added, adding an md toolbar just for the sake of it title i'll just say file manager all right nothing else i don't want anything else followed by that i'm going to be putting a float layout and just an md flat button I'm just going to say text is going to be open file manager and on release or on press we just are going to say app dot the open logic right here so it's going to be open file manager all right so basically just saying add a float layout and add a flat button and when the user clicks on this make sure to just fire this up the pause it is very important make sure to put the pause in in the center point 0.5 as well awesome so it's going to be the center of the screen and it's just saying md flat button um, just when the user clicks on it just open the um, open the file manager and we are going to be done the build has to be passed so i'll just say builder dot load string use the kv all right we are done um so just going to run this method or uh, run this uh, application to show you guys how useful and it's pretty straightforward this entire file module all right so this is application that we have after probably executing it uh, don't forget to have the return in the build method all right so this is basically what you have created when you click on this open file manager it opens up and that you see you have the uh, entire application being shown this is going to be the file manager and i have access to all of the stuff i can even access my home i can go back and this is all automatically done you don't have to worry about it the entire module has it by default i can go to user and i have the admin inside it all of stuff being present all right now let's say that i want to choose the base basically the button that you want to confirm now this button is going to be fired and this is going to be the okay button right and this is going to be automatically present as part of the md file manager let's say i'm just choosing uh, probably what we have we have um, all right let me choose the db browser and contents uh, so this is going to be the path that i want when i click on this path it's going to automatically close and this also will be closed and we can find that it's getting printed right here we can now even put it inside a toast and you can just show the user what the path was selected and you can even do all of the other uh, stuff that you want to do after getting the path of the local file uh, that the user is actually selecting this is extremely useful if you're going to be selecting images and videos from inside a mobile application and it also gives a very good looking ui which you don't have to construct by yourself 
very very useful class that's what I, that's what i wanted to really make use of hope that this video is informative for you guys if you found it informative you know what to do smash the like button and i'm gonna be coming up with a few more videos along this topic as well in the upcoming days so make sure to watch all of that and stay subscribed i'll see you guys in the next video until then Bharat, peace out have a super awesome day